As an area located in the tourist belt, Wall Street is best known as a hotspot for food and entertainment, especially for nightlife lovers. However, over the years, the unsanitary outlook of that space came under the microscope. In an effort to curb this, among other issues, government is moving towards restructuring that area in Grand and St. George. On Thursday, Minister for Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation, who is also MP for the South St. George, and Williams, met with food vendors and the Wall Street Cooperative. He expressed dissatisfaction with the present construct of the location, which include how vending is done. As MP for the South, I'm not satisfied with the way Wall Street is going. And I think that if we are selling food on an area like that, number one, it has to be more things into the eyes and, it, the, and the conditions have to be better. So I met with, the, with everyone today and it, we had a good meeting. And we agreed on the steps that we should take going forward to ensure that Wall Street is a better place to vend and for people to come and eat as well. And the minister said tackling this issue ties in with his government's visible transformation project. President of the Wall Street Food and Beverage Cooperative, who is also a vendor, Peterson John, says for over 18 years they have been pursuing some form of ownership to develop the spot. Um, it's been years we've been waiting and to get a permission of which the Wall Street Food and Beverage have that authority to choose and the, uh, the, the right people with the, with the right attitude and, and thing for Wall Street because we want to take Wall Street to the next level. You know, Wall Street is a place that, you know, if you want a family out in the night after 10, you know you could come and get something. And plus, you want an environment that could enhance, you know, a little activity, a little, just, just, a, just a, a good time out. And Wall Street is a place for it. So the new Wall Street would be coming soon. I mean, it would be a different structure, it would be a different look at what he used to look like before. Christopher Augustus, a PRO and vendor, hinted on what's to come in terms of development for Wall Street. Another vendor also expressed his concern. In the public, they're going to see some changes to go forward as early as March. With the pissing, by the way, we had to stop it up, we're going to put the garbage bin, we're looking to have a permanent toilet, you know, we're going to restructure the whole place. We want to paint it in, in national color, red, green and yellow. And it's a lot. You know, we have so much ideas for Wall Street. They don't want the public to feel that we don't concern about Wall Street. We concern a lot about Wall Street. But if we don't get the ownership to do things, we cannot do it. So I believe Camelot approved it today. So we feel very, very, very happy. And I thank you. My name is Wilkie Jeremy, as I said. I welcome the changes this morning, what it means. I said, we're looking forward to a bright and prosperous Wall Street. I know many people may oppose what the, the, the minister said this morning but I hope that the changes will take place and people will understand what is going on on Wall Street. It's a new Wall Street. So we'll, we're looking forward to the new changes. I appreciate what, as I said again this morning, what the uh, minister said. Christina John, GBN News.